Hello. Our broadcast Hi. is second. Oh, it's already started. Good morning. We just introduced ourselves. So we'll introduce ourselves again. I uh, have a general idea that maybe we can group the questions by topic. General together and private questions together. So kind of so that conversation flows better. So um, let, let me just say hi and also ask people what you have, what kind of questions you have. So we have a new person for me. It is Sean. Hey, Sean, what kind of questions do you have? General or personal? A bit of both, mixture. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, Pegasus, what kind of questions do you have, general or personal? So Pegasus. Uh, a mixture. A mixture, and you might channel, right? As last time. Yeah, maybe. Nice. Well, that would be good. And we welcome that anytime. Yes. And Ravi, well, hello, Ravi. Hello. Hey, Max and Jim. What kind of hey. questions do you have, general or personal? Um, that's a good question. Good. Question. I'll see what flows up. Yeah, some people don't have them. Hey, yet. hey, Empakudan! Finally, we got your face. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. A lot of the members have been going through a lot of changes, so I'm sure they've got a lot of yes answers they would like to be questions, or questions they'd like to be answered. Yes. We have so many new faces. That is wonderful. Uh, I really like faces, especially when the faces are in showing the interest. When faces, when your face becomes sleepy and you get distracted, <laughs> turn off your camera. Yeah. Don't show that, <laughs> right? Uh, so, so uh, now what, what question do you have, personal or general? There's a, a little bit of both, really. Oh, so everybody has both questions. Yes. All right. We just let it go. So then, then, oh, then I will just say hi to Gabriel. Show you your boat. Is it your? Is it? Is it your renting or your? Is it your friend? His no, we, my parents own it. Oh wow. Ah. Nice to have you uh, wave, wave, how do you call it, waving on the wave? Or? Yes, waving on the wave. Yeah, waving on the wave. I can show you outside the boat. Oh, go ahead. And uh, while I'm showing uh, Gabriel, I'll say hi. Uh, hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi. And hey, Kim. Kim, Kim. Oh, I love you. Hi, Max. Hi, Jim. Oh, hey, Sarah. Nice to you. Uh, Lovely. Hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you, Gabriel, for showing your um, your uh, boat. Uh, yeah, boat I've... and surroundings. Nice. Yeah, way. nice. Uh, we can also show our surroundings. Yeah. I, I, uh, we can... I, I will probably ask about Kalish. Yeah, let me show our surroundings. So that's our, we are waving too. And we actually, in the space upside and down. How about that? <laughs> 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 right. uh, I don't know if you reach the outside, but I, you may, may sneak outside. Is it visible? Yeah, it's outside. And it's upside down. We are in the space. It's a beautiful day. All right. Yeah, we have a beautiful day here. It's a lovely neighborhood. It's, it's all good. All right. So announcements. Um, Jim, Jim's uh, how do you call it? Uh, business with channelings is sort of slow in August. Uh, people are on vacation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Just the business is slow. So to and Jim needs to pay pay his bills. So <laughs> the usual ways is to get discount, give discounts to people, or to invite. Upfront payment. Say if you are busy, but you can pay now for September session. Why don't you do that? Uh, and other way around, if you want to do a session now because Jim is available, but you can't pay now, but you can pay in September, you can do that. Uh, somebody misread the post and said, you know, that Jim offers free sessions, and and they kind of took two-hour session and they say thank you for free session, which was a mistake. I. I invite you to pay, and I think your rate is forty-five dollars per half an hour. Yeah. So two hours is uh, uh, ninety. Well, so two hours is one eighty. Yeah, one eighty. So <laughs> invite you to pay one eighty. If you can pay once at once, you may may spread it. But Jim expected you know the payment. 
So, in any case, uh, thank you everyone for your support, and uh, and we invite you to contact Jim and uh, support him more, and you will be supported as well. Basically, uh, you know, people just build their relationships with extraterrestrials, and you know, I have. You know, now my closest friends are up there. I'm kind of I'm used to talking to them and get, getting their advice. Friends and teachers, and you now I sort of have a grandmother around there because um, she donated the DNA to me, so she became some some sort of grand or great grandmother. Now, yeah. next uh, announcement is people wanted more freedom. I mean that's sort of surprising, but people wanted more freedom here, and um, it's like. Uh, a mothership or a fire. If you want to create more freedom, you kind of take a fire and place it elsewhere. Like take the piece of wood from a bonfire and put it elsewhere. And sometimes it burns, but sometimes it and it starts a new fire. And sometimes it stops burning and makes smoke and then disappears. So. We had two cases where we created the sites, the sites for our community, just extra sites. One was, I wouldn't name them the name, but a couple of sites were created, and you know, people put a lot of effort in them, but they didn't become a lot because uh, you need some sort of flow of people. If there is not enough people there, the site is not allowed. There is an author there or a group of authors, but you need to bring public there. So why this site is alive? It's a miracle, obviously. It is a miracle. Like it became alive at once, right? Like when it was announced, October 9th, immediately people started coming, and it was alive right away. And it was a miracle because I started many, many, many other sites, and I know they weren't alive. It was me blog blogging, but there wasn't a community. The community here started and is alive still. Why is that? Because we have help from above. I actively invited help from above. So, you know, whatever, you know, higher beings, which are extraterrestrials and angels and spirit guides and others are bringing people here, like, like grabbing and dropping right on the side at the right moment. That's what they do. So we have sort of a deal with them. You know, we, we support the side and they support the side, and that's why we have that, that thing. So the new sites also could become alive, but you have to actively invite help from above, and you have to actively bring people here. I I went to extremes to bring people here. I went to all light worker sites, and at some sites I was banned by you know just because I kind of uh, published a lot of our videos and updates. That was the way to to start it. So I mean, it, and you know, one of the key reasons this site is allowed because we offer this free this is free this free it's free no it's not free anymore but yes, you know, well. it was free for a while <laughs> now it's donation based eight dollars um we'll, we know where you are we'll find you eight dollars <laughs> donation uh, based, Max, uh, the link wasn't up so I couldn't go there yet so maybe afterwards you might want to put the link up <laughs> link oh, which link the link to donate Oh, it's on the site. Just you know, find the menu on the site and donate through there. I didn't. Right, I didn't okay. finish post. I was lazy. But you know, basically, <laughs> the webinars are on every Saturday, and that brings people because people enjoy uh, getting in touch with um, mm -hmm. with alien friends. Go ahead. If you don't have the money, you don't have to donate. It's it's optional. The donation. It's, it depends how much you spend on ice cream. <laughs> I mean, calculate your donation based on how much you spend on ice cream. Or another if you, if you If you get the ask question or not. Question? If, if you, you don't get, get to ask a question, you should not need to pay. Ah. Uh, if you don't ask questions, then you can go in a view on the mode, right? So other people can yeah. take this yes. night. Right. So Some, sometimes it might not go that way that we can also... Yeah, let's not focus on that. Uh, as Jaguar said, pay what is in your heart, meaning pay how much you pay for ice cream, right? <laughs> uh, in any case, uh, so the announcement is that we are creating a site which shares the users. So, 
So it is a new site for others to experiment and play freely. Uh, and this, we, do, we didn't even give it a name yet. We uh, I posted uh, suggestions for names like love.humancolony.org, or it would be it's called subdomain, or joy.humancolony.org, or uh, blue dot human calling the door. Come up with a short name which is easy to pronounce and announce on webinars so others can find it easily. But basically this will be an independent, large independent site where you can have all sorts of new designs, new structures, new menus, new groups and but the, the, the members I believe they could jump between the sites without log, re-logging in and certainly without re-registering. Uh, and that is key. We have about 300 some members, and the members can now join other sites. And we create multiple subdomains and even different sites. So, if anybody wants to play on this playground, unite, um, come up with a name, and create a playground for you, or multiple. I, each group of creators would have a different playground. Did you tell them that you won't be in charge of it? I would still be able to close your site if I want to, but uh, otherwise I wouldn't interfere. So if things go wrong, then uh, I would, you know, I still pay for the whole hosting. But you know, I don't think we are anywhere close yet to that. No, no, not yet. But uh, you know, an alternative. I also welcome other people. I know there are groups who created other channels and sites, and I really welcome that. And if you cannot bring enough life and how do you say flow of people and is a word traffic called traffic if you can bring enough traffic to your site share users with us and we'll advertise and redirect traffic our friends to your site so this site also becomes alive and you get you know action the energy and also invite your higher friends to help you to bring Whoever needs to come there, synchronicity is great. But when you draw, when you have the synchronicity, it's even greater. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now Jim is overworked last night. It was a uh, uh, how did it scheduling? I had a I had um, a lot yesterday. I didn't finish my work until after midnight last night. So uh, it was a long day. So I'm a little tired today, but I think I'm fine. I'm, I actually am fine. I will say that I'm fine because the universe hears that and brings it back. So, <clears throat> and uh, you know, um, <clears throat> we might close sooner. So um, it might not be a real long one session today, if that's okay. All right. But I did want to come and say hello and have a session for you all. And and yesterday we got Ch Chakani speaking to us along the record long two hour session with Chakani. Shell from Chakanya. Yes, that was amazing. So today, I guess the main invitation is is to someone who can answer personal questions because last time we skipped personal questions. So yes, Kerr is most mm -hmm. um, qualified right. for that. But you know, whoever comes with the answers, we will welcome them. Okay. All righty. Any questions before we start? We need a joke. I think so. the economy will be good since they've been reopened. Again? An update on the colonies might be great since they've been reopened. Okay. Uh, I didn't even. Yes, sure. And okay. our uh, last time it's was so mentioned about our trans, about our implants and the activation of these implants and interactions between the beings that have been uh, interacting with us. As we have been experiencing over the last few weeks. Okay, there's there's news on that, and it came out in some private sessions. But I'm I'm thinking that uh, one of them will come that will answer those questions. You can just ask them right personally. So, and there might be some updates that I don't know about. So, I don't have any jokes coming, but I will um, just say a few random words which might tune their air in certain directions. Uh, August is different. It is royal. It is a combination 
a blend of greatness and lightness. Big energies combined with laughter. Take it easy. It is only August. It's only royal and kings like laughter. It's like Zeus being scary and powerful but also light-minded and drawn. That's my hidden intention for all of you. I invite Chandra now. Okay. Okay, before I start, is there any more questions for me? All right. We'll see who comes. Yes, good morning. Hello, Takara. Hello. I have, I have heard that you are interested in the updates on the colonies. Yes. The colonies are all open once again. The third colony is now once again open. Colony one and two have been open for at least five of your Earth days now. Yes, five. And some of you have been there already, and some of you know that you have been there already. Um, this The memory is still not great because of the way that we have to put back the final memory into your, your existence when you return. Otherwise, you would not be coherent with what's happening on your planet. However, memory should start to come back in time. Now, there are some developments about implants that some are concerned about. Would someone like to ask me about what is going on? If, tell me of the situation that is happening. Rawi, I believe you were speaking of that. Yes, take care. Most gratitude for coming today. You are most welcome. What is it about the implants that is concerning you? Well, I'd like to know more about what was discussed last week about the interaction with the colonies and the implants and the transportation modes used. Um, more clarification on that would be really helpful. Mm, there was many questions there. Let me answer the in plant question first. Yes, they are bringing, they are modifying the implants to possibly bring you in to, to full body experiences. That has not started yet. That has, um, they want to make sure that that is working properly before they do anything. The implants themselves, 
I wanted to tell you this. If you wanted to have an implant removed because you do not want to be monitored, that is your choice. We did put them in because you gave permission for us to hybridize you or whatever. And with that permission came the implant because we figured that that would be something that you would not mind. However, if you do not want an implant, we will remove it. I just wanted you know, to know that that is something of your free will. If you do not want a guide around you or a guardian or an implant, it is your will not to have such things. But if you do want them, they will stay. The, the implants that are being worked on for tele, well, for bringing you to the colony. Teleportation. Yes, I I would not say that word because it's it's not exactly appropriate. But the thing is, those implants are being worked on and. Um, they are not in effect at this time yet. But some of you have been coming in and out of the colonies at least once or twice. Most of you to colony one and two, and only one of you to colony three. Is there another question within that that I missed? No, that's fine. Thank you, Zakir. What, what has changed in the colonies compared to the, to the previous period? There are different languages now available to be taught. In Colony 1, we brought in some other languages. Also, telepathy is being worked on in two different modes. There are some people that have heart chakra modes, that would be 95 to 96 percent of humans start their telepathy in the heart. But the other percentages start their telepathy in the mind or the third eye. And there are also those that are teaching telepathy from that point. Because it is a special kind of telepathy and it is more encompassing. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It does include the heart, but it is triggered by the third eye and immediately activates the heart chakra as well. However, it must be taught how to use it because it can be a little more dangerous to the human because of it is attached to the brain more directly. You mentioned third eye. Is it pineal gland or it's more than a pineal gland? It is more than just the pineal gland. There is, it, it includes the pineal gland, of course. But if you were to observe it with um, some of the equipment that you do have on Earth, you would see that the third eye is open wider than it usually is, which means that it can bring in other elements from the brain and use them in its source power. Does that make sense to you? Uh, is it physical or more like beyond physical? It's, it is always starting physical with because that is where the beginning of it is, but it is energy. Uh, David Wilcock talks about pineal gland as a real more like physical eye, which has nerves and can perceive information spatially, more like, uh, very, very much like a real eye. Is it anywhere close or it's completely different? It's not real an eye. It's a sensory perception gland. Yes, it, it is similar to an eye, but it does not see like an eye. It sees like perhaps sonically. It sends out its waves. It sends out um, energy and the, which bounces back to it, yes. Ah, really? In some ways, yes. Is it etheric energy? Yes. So it would interact with etheric bodies more than physical bodies? 
it is more than physical, yes. So that it is a fourth dimensional awakening, but it is unusual that the pineal gland is awakened in this way at this stage of your development. So that would be the eye which would see auras and chakras and colors. That would be the instrument of the body to see those. It would help in that. I you see. can see them without the pineal gland. Ah. But this would make them much more clear. Uh, any more questions on the topic of new colony, uh, new, uh, new period in the colonies? Yes. Uh, what, what can we do here to help? Did someone you? call me? Yes, it was David. Gabriel. You are doing... What can we do? From the earth side, you must do your meditation. Yes. I did not hear the last part. You asked what you can do. Is yeah. that uh, correct? Uh, I've been in my dream. Yes. I wonder if this that was is an energy room. Yes, it was. It Which is one of the editions. Okay, we I was we were there is three a, teams or something. There is additional rooms in the colonies of which I did not mention. The crystal room is one of them. It there is a, a white crystal room and it does have color combinations within it. Colors can change to help your chakra energies. And this is one of the rooms that has been added to Colony 1. I have a question relating to the size of the colony. Yes. Um, are there areas in which it may seem like the buildings themselves are above a sky level? in which there are airships of some kind. There is that perception, yes. You can perceive many things in the colonies because perception is changed there in some ways. Let me explain to you how you can see these things. You can ask in colony two or three to see certain things and they will bring you to a holographic area where you will be able to see other worlds and other cities and things of that nature for you to understand how the cultures of these planets and beings live and therefore it is very real but you are not there are sometimes also when people are taken to places but in the colonies there is those places where you can perceive other worlds and other timelines. Timelines? As well, yes. Oh, so you can look at different timelines of Earth development? No, not that. Other timelines of the, of the present. Oh, yes, of present Earth development. So yes, not of the past. They will not take you to any past timelines because that is forbidden. That is something very new. So humans can look at different versions of our timelines. They can look, yes. Wonderful. That would be very interesting to all of us. It would be a present timeline yes. within five different timelines. Amazing. Oh. They are similar. Can you look but you can also see other worlds. Can you look at yourself? I, can I, would, would one of us look at ourselves? You would not be able to see yourself. Ah. Yeah. Well, that would be what would we, why would we look at that? What would we gain from looking at that? I do not know. It's, it is just something of interest to some of you. There would be nothing for you to gain from it except that to do know what other timelines are doing that is different than yours. Okay. I find it you know, amazing educational tool just to see what could 
you know, be happy in positive and negative, you know. If you see other perspective vividly, like it's like watching the movie, but that movie would be about real us. It's like almost a documentary. Uh, I have a question about, yeah, any more questions to Takur on, on the same topic, please? Yes. Hi, Takur, this is Hayan. Hayan. Well, um, first, um, on the topic of uh, other timelines, do I perceive, do I have another timeline where I, uh, where, where I still do drugs? Where you still do drugs? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, so I, t I sometimes tap into that in the dream state. So that yeah. would be it. But you do not have to live that timeline. You may tap into it for a second or perhaps even an hour or two in some cases. But you do not have to live that timeline. It is to give you the perception of what you should be learning in your timeline. Do you understand? Yes. This, this time when you are altered can be wasted. Wasted time where you, in this timeline, can use it more beneficially. However, mm. you can see it that way, but that is the message that should come through eventually. Okay. Thank you. And about the colonies, <clears throat> uh, how many ways can one travel? to the colonies. I know we can go there physically, of course, and maybe in the future, holographically. Yes, and there are... astral projection, both in awake state and in dream state. Yes, there are several different ways, but mostly we take you in the night and bring you holographically to... It seems to be the most beneficial way. Astral projection is an act of the subconscious and the will. So therefore, sometimes when you do it that way, it is hard for you to return because you don't want to. So therefore, we prefer to do it our way so that we can control when you come and when you go. Do you understand? Yes. If, if sometimes you come of your own volition and your own free will, you do not want to leave it's when you need to leave. You want to stay because the atmosphere is much lighter and you feel much more joyful. But that is, that is fine, but you need to return to your timeline. Yes. Thank you. Also, there is interdimensional travel, which we do not do as much of anymore. If that is the only way that we can get you there, that is what we will do. But we will do the holographic. There are some areas of your planet that have high radiation waves, high and different things that interfere with the holographic transportation. And therefore, we do an interdimensional pattern. So this is r much more rare at this time. And it took a can you say something about interdimensional travel? What is that? Yes, that is when you must... There is a certain vibration you must reach to do interdimensional travel. Uh, Therefore, okay. you do not do it as much anymore because not as many are at that high of vibration to do it. It can be detrimental to do it with lower vibrational people. Uh. I when the, Thank you. Uh, aliens did abductions for the habitation program. Did they use interdimensional mostly? They use the old-fashioned teleportation, which we are inputting into the uh, implants. But it is a much higher form at this time. So it was it the same as interdimensional or different? Different. Thank you. Uh, I invite new members like uh, Kim and Sean to, to speak if you have something to say on the topic. Yes. Uh, hello, Tucker. I, I just want to express my love for you and your oh. race. Uh, thank you very much.
I want to express my love for my my love for your humanity as well. For your planet is the most special place in the universe right now. Takia, may I ask you, um, is it appropriate to pass on to you the name I've chosen for my hybrid Yael son? Yes. Ah, oh, wonderful. To me and I will send it forward. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like it to be Mika. Um, I would like it spelled M I K K A H, but pronounced Mika. Lovely. I will pass it forward. Thank you very much. And please pass my love to his parents. They have received it. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. Let me pronounce it for you, Mika, is that correct? Yes, Mika. That is lovely, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Hello. Victor. Yeah, go ahead, yes. It's Elena, much love. Elena. How are you, Dekar? Are you okay? I want to thank you for your help in telling me too. Thank you. Much love. Um, I wanted just to say about the parallel realities. Uh, I was thinking about this yesterday, that before we should take a decision in the moment, we should probably take a second to decide if we react in different ways, what will happen, and we should choose the path that most suit us. This was what I was thinking yesterday, and it's very interesting you mention it today. Very nice. Yes, I often, I often listen to your thoughts, and you did express this in Colony 2 as well. So this is where I got that thought, is from you. Thank you. I guess we all we started personal questions as well. I guess. I have we'll... questions for yeah. Noah. Yes. Miss Sarah, hi, Ticker. How are you? Yes, Sarah. Hello. Well. Hello. Yes. Um, her questions are, she has two. She said, um, has her Lyran DNA increased from 3 to 6 percent? One moment. It is almost complete, yes. It, it is, is almost complete. And she wanted to know if she has Hathorian DNA. Thorian. There Hath is a trace. There is a trace of it. It's not something that we look for. But yeah, there is some there, yes. Okay, and she wanted to know what's her progress in E1 and E2. She would like to channel and um, she would like help in that aspect. Patience, there will come a time soon when you will be able to move forward with this. But at this time, they are working with you in your telepathic capacities and with languages and just be patient with us and with yourself because you are moving forward in a, in a good pace. Very good. Thank you so much. Were, those were her questions. Very good. Taka, much yeah. love to you. I have a question relating a, a semi-physical experience um, which I received yesterday in the early hours. Um, upon listening to Jim's channeling yesterday of show, I have uh, decided to move on from it, though I'm kind of wondering why the being appeared to me and why the action was a of a extremely sexual nature even though I was awake. Interesting. The being's I, name I'm was I'm not sure I understood the question entirely, but I do know that you were visited. But would you repeat the part that was the the part that you wanted me to respond to? Yeah, of course. Um, what was the reason for a being named Beacon visiting me 
and why did she perform this action to me? One moment, please. Wilka, Wuhorota, Hosho, Wu. Do you know what species she was? It's my belief that she was from Syria, or Syrian, even. She was a very light being, yes. One moment. She was extremely lovely. Um, I was just more confused at why. It was her choice to interact with you in this way because she wanted to make sure that you would remember her. And the other thing about this is that it brought her into an understanding of where you are in your physicality. You, as an individual, are moving out of third dimension in some fashion. Do you understand this? Uh, yes, definitely. And as she would perform this for you, she wanted you to be more third dimensional in this situation. And let me explain. She was frightened that you might move too quickly to another dimension and lose your earthly connection, which is very important for earthlings. For humans to not connect with the third dimension is very sad in her eyes. And this brought you back into a third dimensional reality with her in the form. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that does actually. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Yes. Others, please continue. Yes, we open all questions. That was a very. I wanted to say. Hello, take care. Uh, one moment, please. I want to say additionally that was very unusual for a Syrian to do. They do have sexuality on their world, but it's not as intense as sexuality on your planet. So therefore, your third dimensional connection to the Earth was that important to her. So please dwell on that. Go ahead. Pegasus. Pegasus. I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Pegasus. No, it's okay. Um, I had a question. Yes, I had a question about. Um, <clears throat> well, I want to know um, if I have any percentage of um, alien and um, I, um, um, The Lyrian um, wife, if you will. Um, um. Yes. There was some electronic disturbance. Would you like to know about her? Is that it? if where she exists? I would suggest you start answering the first question. Maybe he comes through. Yeah, he was um, knocked out of the system. Oh, that is sad. But uh, yes, is he does. Alien, clear and alien. Yes, he does have a percent of alien in him. I I would like to speak to him personally about well, that. He's, yes, oh, he's okay. back. Yeah. He's back. Yes, you do have a percentage of alien in you. It is an interesting activation. It is unusual in the sense that it is not like other hybridizations. It is much more ancient and much more powerful. And you gather that already, I know. Your urine wife is not really a wife, but she is 
connected in the sense that she has love for you like a wife would have? Is this the question that you wanted to ask? About her appearance, what she looked like. She's quite lovely, of course. I find her to be one of the most beautiful of our species. In many respects, and I'm not talking about physicality, but in the mind and body and spirit combined, she is a great being. She is very fortunate to be able to have you as a connection. Is there something else? I am feeling that there is other questions. Yes, I uh, tried to send you a telepathic message. Did yes. you receive it? And uh, what is what's the answer? Telepathic messages with all these people are difficult. And I did not receive it, no. I do not believe that I received any telepathic. I received the message that there was other questions and that it was possibly you, but that's all that I did receive at this time. Can you ask me the question? Well, the, tele the telepathic was message was I uh, invited you into my dream state. That was the telepathic message that I sent, and uh, I sent another one, and I was wondering about my alien DNA, because I know I have 3 to 4% EAL, but I feel like I have something else. There is something else there. And actually, I did receive that message, but not today. I received that from you yesterday, that message. Did you also send it yesterday? I've been trying to send telepathic messages for the past three days. Yes, I received it yesterday, not today. But there's too many people here for me to just find the telepathic messages there. There are several that are here. But yes, you do have another DNA within you that is not normal. You Do you know what it is? Do you have an idea? No, I, I don't know. It's Fandorian. Oh, again, Fandorian? Yes. There are a few people from the site that have Fandorian in them. Can you tell a little about Fandorians? What they are? They are an unusual species, fourth dimensional. They are telepathic. They are shape changers. Oh. Are they human looking? They can be. Uh huh. They are humanoid, yes. Do, do, can you tell the star from which they're from? They would have to tell you that. I see. So It was said in other sessions, but they prefer that you would, I would not tell that. Okay. And uh, how much of them, their presence is on Earth? Not much. About 6% of the population have Fendorian in them. Wow. Is it Germans? Germans. There are some Germans, yes. Thank you. Please continue with your questions. What was the other part of that question? Ah, did you want to know what percentage? Yes, please. Only about 3%. But still, that is very high. <coughs> Takar. Yes. Uh, what am I doing on the colonies now? And which one I'm, or I'm going to? Gabriel, Gabriel, you are in the class by which leadership is being taught. It is yeah, a decision of the colony one. You, as a human have high fourth dimensional energy 
and therefore they were trying to find why your fourth dimensional energies are so high. And they realized that you are somewhat special in some ways. But you need to ground yourself even more. But there are things happening with you that are grounding you at this time. So that is good. Do you realize what these things are? No. I've been very disconnected you will. lately. That is, okay. that is all right. Disconnection is part of the grounding process. Because you're disconnecting from the fourth dimension and reconnecting with your third dimensional energy. However, you will be totally connected from top, from bottom to top, we should say, because your first connection should be earthly, then it will be fourth dimensional. That way you will be able to communicate to the third dimension better. At this time, sometimes the third dimension can be a puzzle to you, but it is getting more clear. Yes, am I intended to be a leader on the colonies? I cannot tell you that at this time. It is premature. Okay. Elite, go ahead, and then say it after. Uh, take care. Hello, Elena again. I want to ask you about the YouTube movies you have put for us to watch. What happened with those movies? Are you speaking of the ones from beyond? Yes. Yeah. From beyond movies have been taken away by we don't know who. They were taken out of the system we expect or suspect that it was your government. Yes. Not yours particular, but the American and England English governments that remove them. We are not sure, but we find that there is some evidence that there was an English someone in England took them. Yeah. Uh, Typically, if uh, we want to be uh, alternative thinkers or grassroots, and we want a video to stay on, on their internet, we post it in multiple accounts and announce it to lots of friends and asking them to download it. This way it goes right away on many computers and it's impossible for government to take it out. So just keep in mind that is you know, a standard practice for were distributing the material which can be taken out. Multiple channels and asking people to download it. After that, people can repost it uh, indefinitely. We will repost those too. Thank you. But we will not announce when because, or where at this time, because they would take them off immediately again. But please check. It will come to your mind where you should check. Because if I tell you where to check, like I said, from beyond before, I believe Makesh said that as well. From beyond is where they were, but now they will be somewhere different. That will be where you should check the thought in your mind. They are not there yet, but they will be coming. And we do not want these people to be able to take them. So we will not announce it publicly here because they are listening. And if anybody sees that video, download it immediately to your computer and repost another channel. Yes. This way it will stay here. And you know, when it get, gets viral, it's impossible to stop it. it. You will know it by its introduction. They will mention human colony on this these videos. Ah. So that you will know that it is from the human colony. Do you understand? Yes. I hope you find them. I hope you are able to hear the thoughts. Thanks. Thank you. Very well. Uh, Sarah, you're next? Yes. Hello, Tucker. 
Sarah. Um, I have a question about if there was any other types of DNA in me outside of the Lyran and the reptilian. There is one other, yes. Very small amount of Pleiadian. Of Pleiadian? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Sean? Uh, yes, I just want to know uh, how many times have I actually been up at the colonies. You've been to the colonies three times. Do you remember anything? Uh, well, I do remember an experience that I ha had. I thought it was a teleportation experience because my house is a three-story house and I go to bed on the second floor and one night I woke up on the top, uh, on the third floor and the window was open and I was very, very cold. <laughs> Unfortunately, you did not get all the way back to your room. That happens occasionally, but not often. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for that experience. Why would I welcome that experience, and <laughs> I uh, wish I had more experiences like that. But yes, it just does prove that you were gone for a while. I'm sorry that you were cold. Why would the window be open? Do you open the window to return people? No, we did not open the window. I believe you must have done that yourself. Yeah, it must have been someone else in my family. I have a big family. Yes. Someone else opened the window, we did not. Sean, Sean do you have more? So we have a line, uh, Empaku, Empaku, Dan, Kim, uh, Pegasus, Continue. I have some time left, but not a great deal. Hey, Dan, your turn. I'll make this quick then. Um, it's in relation to a position or a, a structural arrangement within the, the colonies. I've been to the exact same place more than once now, and it, it feels as if I live there, and there's another being that lives in there with with me, kind of like a uh, flatmate idea. Though, when I returned the other day, he, I remembered him, but he was unsure who I was. Yeah. Um, I was wondering why he would have not realized. Occasionally, they uh, go through some psychological problems, but they are temporary. He will remember you the next time. And yes, when you stay for five days at a time or six, you do have to still rest. Your holographic image must rest as well because it is an actual copy of what you would be like as an Earth, just in another space. When you go back, you feel the effects of the things that you have been doing while you were away. So yes, you have a roommate, so to speak, in the colonies. And this yeah. person is very sensitive to the movement and therefore had a slight psychological problem remembering things when he first got to the colony. Okay, wonderful. Um, I have another part to the question. Yes. Um, which has actually just left my mind. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Yes. Perhaps they were not as essential. Someone Absolutely. else perhaps has something more essential at the moment. Yes, thank you very much, Tifa. You're welcome. Uh, Kim, your turn now. I, I just thank have you. a quick question oh. uh, before I go. Gabriel, oh no, it was Hayan. Hayan, sorry, Kim. Hayan. It's okay. Here. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, did uh, did I get attacked by that uh, reptilian vibration the night before last night? Uh, I wanted to speak to you about this. There has been more attacks, yes. But 
do not let them control you. Yeah, I feel wonderful now. There are um, things you can do to stop the attack. Do question it. If you start to feel anything unusual, please question why you are feeling that way. If you definitely should not be feeling that way. Yeah. You, Tracing back the thoughts and yes. and see see that it does not fit with my thought pattern. Yes. The am I am I one of those uh, telepathic who is telepathic from the brain? I am not permitted to reveal those people that are telepathic from the brain at this time. Okay. The I, reason for this get... is they must be treated differently, and I would not want to have anyone feel that they are being treated differently at this in this realm, because it's not in this realm that you are going to be treated differently. Hmm. Did I get a download from you yesterday? You did. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank Namaste. You. Thank you, Hayan. Now, Kim? Uh, yes, it's just a, a quick question, please. Um, I'm wondering what percentage of Yael I have and also my surviving daughter. I have another daughter in spirit and I'm wondering if she was hybrid also. You both are. Has this information come to you before? Yes. Yes, you both are. And you do know what that hybridization means. Yes. Very good. Thank you. And your daughter, who is in spirit, wishes you well and says she is glad that you are feeling better. Thank you so much. She is glad you are feeling better. You're wonderful. Thank you, Takir. You are wonderful as well. <laughs> Thank you. Who is next? I'm next. I Pegasus. Um, Hello, Takar. Um, I wanted to know if there is a uh, ability of me um, living um, amongst um, extraterrestrials um, because uh, the, uh, that's the reality that I'm choosing to live in. And yes. um, I wanted to know... Um, if uh, about the uh, um, you, and you about the uh, about what you said about about my pers about my belief and that is uh, in me. Yes. First of all, yes, you do have much interactions with aliens. However. Be very cautious of this at this time. You cannot lose your third dimensional identity. Sometimes they give you the sense that you do not have to be in the third dimension or do not want to be. However, you were born to the third dimension for a reason. So please remain attached to it. You may visit with them as often as you like, but do not lose your third dimensional attachment your grounding to the earth, your third density, because that is important to your communications. 
I will explain. It can drive you in different directions than you should go if you let too much extraterrestrial energy enter too quickly. Does this make sense to you? Um, could you repeat that? Um, the audio was lagging. I see. Do not lose your attachment to the third dimension. Did you hear that? Were you able Yes. It is important that you stay third dimensional even though you have much attachment as well to other aliens. But your third dimension is important. You were born to the third dimension for a reason. Do not let it escape you. Do not become too fourth dimensional to not understand your third dimensional purpose. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Very good. Because you would have a tendency to move well among the aliens and become more fourth dimensional than you actually should be in this lifetime. That would be a mistake. But keep a balance between your third dimensional and fourth dimensional aspects so that you can continue your work on Earth as you should. You are a channel, and this will be a great third dimensional quality. Do you understand that? You will be able to speak to others yes. and help the third dimension. So remain attached to it so that you may communicate well with it. This is what I'm saying. If you lose your communicative skills with the third dimension because you become too fourth dimensional, they will not understand you as well. And we need as many of you to speak well on Earth as possible. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Did you grasp it? Yes. We are looking forward to working with you. We are looking forward to working with you. But you must remain grounded in many senses for it to be valuable. You are a valuable asset. Thank you. Do you have anything else to say? Um, uh, I wanted to ask about um, the uh, uh, apparently there are a lot of uh, Incidents, incidents with the uh, with the uh, Middle East and Russia and Ukraine. I wanted to know if the uh, um, ETs are um, doing anything to relating into a war. They are doing what they can. But this is the reptilians have control of Putin who is the main figurehead in all these things. If you look at his face, you will see no emotion or confidence exists there any longer. And this is a dangerous thing. The reptilians have much control over him. And we are trying to help in some ways, but do not make an in ways to him because he is not able to feel us, not able to relate to us because they have him under their control completely. We did not know that this would happen, but he gave himself over to it, and this we cannot do anything about. It was his will. And therefore, that complicates the situation. Do you understand? We will do what we can to stop the things from happening, to destroy 
many people and many areas, but these things are happening without us. Uh, I know Russia. Russia has a lot of tradition of free thinking. There is a lot of free thinkers in Russia who understand the situation and um, uh, are kind of they are not united much. But uh, there is, in addition to control by government and control by church, there is a lot of alternative movement. So I invite you to support the alternative movement as well. Yes. There are those that are working against Putin in his own land, but he is crushing his own people in some senses already. Yes. Uh, Pegasus, are you done? Do you have anything else? Uh, I don't have anything else. Uh, Sarah is next. Yes, hello to Kara. Um, okay. I have a question because I noticed in my dreams the other night, um, I felt like I was being blocked from seeing what was going on. And at first I thought it was reptilian, but then I asked and it said Lyran. Blocked by Lyrans, is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm being blocked from seeing what's going on. Going on where? Wherever I was. I, I punched through for, for a moment. <laughs> perhaps it was some... I would have to check for you, but perhaps it was something that was detrimental for you to see. But that would be the only reason why I would think that they would block something from you. It might yeah. have been mentally or physically harmful. One moment and I will check for you. Thank you. Do you know where you were at this time? Were you in a dream state? I was in a dream state and I noticed I was blocked at first and then there was a time where I was open and then there, there was a blockage again. Ah, one moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, it it's actually quite humorous. Oh. <laughs> there was someone that was without clothing, and they didn't want you to see them. <laughs> the had All arrived, night. arrived at the colonies, and they were without clothing, and you were in the the receiving room, so to speak, and you were blocked again when another naked person arrived. <laughs> but all night long? No, you weren't blocked all night long. I felt like I was being blocked all night long. No, actually, that was just your sensory perception of it, but there was a couple blockages when those others came and they were not wearing clothing. Well, tell them I'm okay with them not wearing clothing. I don't wear clothing most of the time, so I'm good to go. Like I understand. On. It was their choice, not yours. <laughs> but you were working in that the receiving room for a special reason, and that's why you seemed blocked a lot. Because many people sleep without clothing, and when they come to the colony in holographic form there without clothes and must get clothing immediately if they so desire. There are those that do not desire that and but they would not block you from seeing them. So I'm in the receiving room, what does that mean? There is something that they are training you to do with receiving of others because you are taking them to Colony 2 from that area. Ah. But you must know how. So you actually are a leader in the colony too. Oh, very nice. You and L. Oh. Oh, hi L. <laughs> very 
Very nice. I was wondering about that because I, I, I was wondering when last I was there because I, I haven't had those memories come to me just yet. So, you are physical and nourishing programs. I'm losing contact. One moment. Yes. There is, you set up nourishment and physical education. Both you and Elle work together with this. Oh, okay. Lovely. She, uh, if if uh, Sabrina has a last question, and then we have to, to wrap it up. All right. Oh, gosh. Maharata, Warahans, yeah. Hello, Tucker. Hello, Sabrina. Um, I have two questions. Yes. Um, the first, the first one is, um, I know I was told that I'm um, Pleiadian, my, my um, that I'm a hybrid Pleiadian. However, I feel Lirand. Yes. Um, that's really what I feel I am, and I'm wondering why the difference. One moment. I will see if I am permitted to tell you. You did have, you did ask for Liren in you, so they have given you some. But you are also Octorian as well. Uh, they will get you the information that you require, but not at this moment. I know the reason for your feeling this way. There is another reason that you are not aware of. But you do have some leer in, in you now, about 4%, maybe 5 5%. You are feeling that, and also because of another incident that has happened with you and a leer in Yes. I will okay. send you information. Okay, yeah, because I it's I do, not, I do not wish to announce it. It may not be something you want to announce. Okay, that that's fine. I just know that I felt more Lyra and Arcturian, that's who who I identify with. Yeah. So okay. And the Pleiadian part is what brings it all together though. You're Pleiadian in many senses, and it connects well with your Octorian and Lyran. So it is fine. Okay. And um, the other question I had was, I had an experience the other day. Um, I can't remember the date it was. Um, but we were, we were all together. Um, and it was quite of an experience, um, like becoming. I got the uh, L language. Um, yeah. You got Elohim language. Yeah, the Elohim. Sorry, the Elohim language. Um, yeah. um, I will tell you what happened. Yes, okay. I know the experience that you're speaking about. You actually touched into fifth dimensional energy, which almost put you in an insanity kind of reaction. It was a joyful insanity, but it, nevertheless, it was out of spirit, out of body, and out of almost mind experience. Is this the experience that you're speaking of? Yes. It was a touch of fifth dimensional energy from Elohim. Okay. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. But this is no. what happens when you go when you are experiencing third, fourth, and fifth dimension at, at the same time, it is hard for <clears throat> to contain yourself and be normal. It's almost impossible. 
Yeah, no, I, I, actually at the beginning I, I struggled a little bit, but once I let go, I was fine. Yes, you had to let go. It was the only way. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Kurt, please, please may I ask my question. Yes. This this is actually causing me a lot of um, disturbance over the past um, recent time regarding reptilians, and I realize that I have a lot of connection to the reptilians and quite a bit of contact between Draco and reptilians from this planet and other. Um, I'm wondering why that I keep getting a it's almost like a negative reaction to uh, some of the things that Jim has um, brought through regarding these um, different types of reptilians and different um, I guess the friendliness of them um, are you not experiencing any friendly ones I'm no I, I'm experiencing very friendly ones yes um, and I just keep getting a, I guess it's an adverse effect to the information and to, I guess, why, why so much hate on the reptilians lately is my, my main question. I believe they do not want to be exposed in any way. They would rather tell you themselves about themselves, and this has always been the reptilian way. And that's why they do not speak much to humans through Jim. But the ones that do aggravate those who do not want to be known or talked about. So therefore, they will give you much of their grief because they do not want to be talked about. They are honorable beings. They are proud beings. What are they saying to you? It's more. It's not so much a a speaking thing. Um, my my reptilian guide doesn't yes. tend to speak much. Speak much. She what prefers to yes. send more vibrations and feelings. And these feelings are normally kind of they get a little bit angry, but not in a unpleasant way. It's more of a a yes. disturbed kind of anger. Yes, I understand. Which portions of the information give you this reaction? Or is it all of it? I, I'm unable to pinpoint a specific point in it, so it may be all of may it. May I help you? Yes. Because you've spoken about it before. Um, he's talking about saying that the good reptilians and the bad reptilians and giving them a number um, from one to five. That was Max that gave them a number. Yes. Um, he, he wasn't feel, he felt that it was a way for humans to kind of understand there are good and bad when we're trying to come to the understanding that there is no good and bad, there's just perception and um, it's getting kind of annoying to say, okay, these people are bad, they're evil. Um, they're, we can't say they're evil. We can say that their intentions are not the same as ours. Mm -hmm. I do understand that there are a group who are not so pleasant and their intentions the best of intentions towards the humans. I understand that much. Yes. And it's more my interactions with them have given me reason to believe that even these ones with the the least positive intention towards humans are not always so um, kind of unpleasant to humans. Oh, this is correct. There is nothing, there is no being in the universe that does not have a good side. They do have a pleasant side. This is definitely true. And there are those that would tend to actually help humans from, from the even least intended. So yes, if I have misspoke on this, I am 
apologetic because there is no creature in the universe that's totally God. Okay, thank you very much. That That's cleared up quite a lot. Thank you. Yes. Even those of least intention have good things within them, but their intent to move forward is in a cycle of perhaps you would call it negativity, or would you call it maybe absorb self-absorption? But in some ways, ways yes. Think, pardon me? In, in some ways, the, the closer to self-absorption may be um, more relevant to it. Yes, I believe you're correct. So I found, well, I've found and I've been told that even the ones that are a little bit more self-absorbed are not so self-absorbed because they're doing it for the greater whole of their community? Yes. This is the perception, yes. Thank you very much, Tucker. You're welcome. Please, if, if there are any reptilians that I have angered or caused frustration or humili humiliation, I did not intend for that to happen. I am respectful of all beings. But I do know, I can tell you that when they control someone, that is not being dishonest. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Tikur. That is very nice of you to say. Yeah. Um, can I add, do you, do you have on your planet um, um, the method of healing yourself with herbs? and with plants as we do on our planet and do you get sick like us? Well, for one thing, who do you believe taught you how to use the earth? We did. Our world species taught humans how to use herbs centuries ago. Because you learned on your own which things were harmful to eat but you did not realize immediately the benefits of the good things that you ate. Because you were in a communal setting and you all ate the same things, unless you run into another tribe or another set of humans in a small community and then see what they were eating, it did not occur to you that what they were eating at that time was beneficial or non-beneficial. All that you saw back then was the gods chose to help this community and not help those. When we, as different species, came down to you, we were the initial teachers of how to properly use your vegetation and herbs. Thank you. Uh, there was a question from Ronnie. How does feel? Uh, how does Jim feel? Is it enough energy to have any more questions? I must leave soon anyway. I can entertain maybe one or two more questions. I think it's Ronnie's turn, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you again, Sakia. Thank you. My um, I would, I've come to terms with my memory and and dream remembrance which is very little but I would like to ask if you can impart any of my adventures or roles in the colonies yes you were in colony one several times mm -hmm. telepathically being trained your telepathic ability is great and you realize at times but also, galactic languages, there is one in particular with their team. But for now, your telepathy is most important. They have realized that your telepathy can reach more than one person at a time, which is rare and unusual. So you have already contacted that sensation of connecting with many people at once as a group almost becoming a community in thought in one second. So, therefore, they are working with you on these telepathic communications. 
Thank you. That's so, so appreciated. No problem. You are a special human um, being able to communicate with more than one at a time. Or at least give out your resonations that all people feel at once. I feel that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It is unusual, and it is a gift. So my guys say. Yes. One more question, and I will go. Um, I had a question. Um, I was watching. Um, uh, I was. I was on the. Uh, Human Colony YouTube channel, and I came across uh, where you were channeling about um, um, hybridization of humans, and you said that the Lyrians were looking into or uh, studying a um, for the ability um, of mating with each other. I may uh, I don't remember all of it. Um, yes. Um, what was your progress on on your on your research? There is a seventy eight percent probability that they can mate at this time. However, with some more hybridization, their higher percentages are likely. This is, I'm talking about successful mating. Does this answer your question? Yes. This has not been attempted yet, but it is likely to happen. I believe you will be one of the first. I'm laughing right now. <laughs> We're all laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, <laughs> you have portrayed more Viren traits than anyone else on Earth that we have found. Say it again, please. Everyone will agree with that. <laughs> yeah, before you go, I'd like to extend my greetings from Jaguar from Portugal. He wishes to uh, extend his blessings and thank you for being here again once again. Thank you, Jaguar. Many blessings to you all. I am leaving you now. Many blessings. We love you. We love, love you to you. care. Because I know that many of you have been going through ups and downs in the colony these days. Yes. I would like to say that because of your unity together, you have brought yourself to a more even stance at this time. These Reptilian attacks can be prevented from making you go up and down. Use your logic to determine what it is that is happening and use your love and thankfulness and goodness to pull yourself out of it. If someone else is having a hard time, be with them and help them to pull up. You already know these things, but you need reminded now and then. Yes, thank you. Much love to each of you and between you all. Thank oh. you. May there be a great communication that drives you for goodness and for rising in your ascension. Thank you very thank much you. for that. Namaste. Namaste.
Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello, welcome back, Jim. Welcome Hello. back. Thank you so much for that. Ooh, welcome back. Hello. Thank Hello. you, Jim. That was yeah. wonderful. That was a wonderful, wonderful session. Oh, thanks. That's good. Yeah, Jim extended his record. I think in the last uh, 16 hours, he channeled more than anybody ever. It was like maybe... Oh, my. Five, five hours of channel all together, maybe even six. Wow. <laughs> he didn't sleep much, but yeah. now he might have a nap. I'm going to take a nap this afternoon. Um, right. An entity came through at Gossamer Wood in front of a, a live uh, group of people, a Chikani. A shell from Chikani. It's already online. On, um, on the shell from Chikani came through and channeled for two hours. Straight. Straight. It's like wow. very strong energy. Jim spoke without any any problem. And he mm -hmm. didn't even remember you know, anything. They were so strong I don't remember. I have to watch the video myself because he was incredibly strong. It's out wow. there on the channel. What did you do? I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to give you the tea and then uh, it's still. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I have a coffee stain on my couch. Is it coffee? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll wake it up. <laughs> it's okay. Do, um, do you think um, maybe later on this week or early uh, next week um, I might be able to book you for a session? Sure. Would you I have, I'd, be feeling a bit recharged by then? I'll, I have Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday open, so. Okay, beautiful. All right. Uh, uh, Monday is the only day that's really booked. Uh, There's a Sunday and a Monday, that's it. I have yep. two bookings, that's it. All right, I'll speak to you on Skype. All right, yeah, just send me a message. I'm yeah. a bit worried Jim's uh, finances kind of going down because of August, so I want to give him a little auditor, a plug. Uh, is it called mm -hmm. plug, right? Yes, yeah, a plug. And uh, is, yeah. I would invite anyone to share your positive experiences of having a channel session with Jim. I, I publish my sessions online, many of them. So, But you may just describe how you scheduled, how it started, how it ended, what did you get from that, if you may share. And, you know, we might even, if it goes well, we might even use it as a commercial separate on, on our oh, that's nice. that's a Yeah, good that's a good idea. Because like it was it. certainly a life-changing experience for me. And the one-on-one -on -one contact, even though it's over is very intense. And you get a lot telepathically as well. And the information that um, Lakesh imparted, we had some levity. We spoke about the beach visit. Um, and then Takir came through um, and we spoke about a few more serious issues, uh, the state of the planet, uh, economy-wise and, and health-wise. Um, Jim was lovely. He's just such a beautiful essence to be around and I was completely... I just felt so full of goosebumps and wonderful energy after I'd spoken with him. So I would recommend anybody and everybody, please book a session. I, t I say that from my heart. He is worth every second and every penny. Oh, thank you so much. It was very thank you. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. If, if I can add something to what Kim said, um, I would say that everyone has personal questions and it would be very good to attend one-on-one -on -one with Jim to ask these questions because after that you 
um, uh, the person that does it will be more clear with what he is and how he perceives himself. And when we get together in a, in a uh, chat, uh, like Saturday chats, we can speak about more general things uh, that are concerning the whole situation on Earth, like uh, how to preserve the Earth, what to do with uh, with us as a community, um, as a uh, together consciousness in order to raise our vibration and uh, our questions will upgrade in a more serious and more um, in the whole picture um, things to resolve. Mm -hmm. So I would advise everyone to place their personal questions in a private sessions if this is possible and I'm sure that Jim will help uh, the people that cannot afford the whole amount, uh, they yeah. can discuss the things, and there can always be an um, in-between way to to do this. If you mm -hmm. if you have problems with money, chat with me and we'll discuss it. Because I believe that sometimes it's important, if there is important questions that need answered, we can discuss that. We can discuss finances. Yeah. Because it's more, it, to me, it is very important that the, you're, you become enlightened and, and get a higher vibration and move forward. It, it's very important. This is a very important group of people. And uh, this will change a lot our Saturday hangouts in a very good direction. When people are aware of their personal things, we could discuss the more general ones. Mm -hmm. I would just add a little bit. Um, one thing you can ask <laughs> in personal sessions, you can ask things which is uh, unthinkable to ask in um, public sessions, like <laughs> health issues. Really speak about health, mm -hmm. and the health advice was incredible. Not only advice, I say that and that person, my close person has that that problem and a couple of days it's gone. And they say, yeah, we diagnose it right now and they take care of that, do their medicine transdimensional and it is, just disappears. That is so amazing. I mean, that's, you know, it cannot, I mean, that is, I guess, the most important thing which I have. Like having a family doctor up there is, is extraordinary. And they are mm -hmm. helping many people with um, health issues, um, not just one or two, but three or four actually people have talked to them about health issues and they are actually working and their health is improving. They do not give you... I oh, just wonder, they sorry. Do, they do not give chemicals, they do give uh, vitamins, herbs and energies. And they know how to use them. So, yeah. Another thing, I, I'm all, often asked them, "What's wrong with my diet?" And they give diet advice, like you know, to test your diet. Are you allergic to wheat? You know, it takes so much education that you just can ask, and they can check it out and tell you. I guess the doctor might also tell you, but you know, uh, um, I prefer uh, extraterrestrial medicine. That's <laughs> something. Uh, and yes. I, and Another question I, you know, um, inviting your higher self to external. So, I don't know if how many of you spoke to your higher self through each other or directly, but uh, that is something which is not thinkable in public session, but it's very appropriate in a private session. Another thing is speaking to your spirit guides. Spirit guides sometimes come through psychics, but not in public sessions with Jim. So in private sessions, some spirit guides come, your spirit guides come through. You know, spirit guides, if you know, are their the spirits of humans that passed away. Or aliens. Or aliens, yes. Humans or aliens who passed away. And then they uh, either incarnate or they are uh, the spirits, they, they choose to serve as spirit guides. and. They take care to keep you alive, basically, and also to give you lessons. So they both keeping you alive and giving you lessons. These are one of those which you can blame for your mischief sometimes. Not always. Yes. One thing about spirit guides, though, if they are not ready to talk to you, they will not. 
Yeah. If you they feel that you are not prepared to hear the information that they have for you, they will not speak to you at that time, and they will not give you their names unless they speak them themselves to you. At least through me, that is my experience, that they prefer to give you their names themselves. I can't say, oh, your spirit guide's names are blah, blah, and blah. They will tell you themselves, and they will talk to you about the things that are most concerning them, and Anytime anybody has ever called a spirit guide through that did come through, it was very, very interesting to the person because the spirit guides know that person. So, um, once in a while, I speak to uh, two friends who passed away mm -hmm. and pass their messages to their families. That is also huge important. Uh, once I spoke to a, ch a hybrid child of mine while he was still before birth. It was I spoke to a soul of a fetus of my hybrid child. That was also absolutely extraordinary experience, and I think it was great both for me and for him. I mean, we have a special relationship just because of that. I don't think anybody of you had experience speaking to your child. Maybe you did, but not many. Not many have spoken to your child and get an answer before they were born. It's possible, but it is a special. Yeah, yeah. That's my intention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and me, Jim. You and me. <laughs> Actually, may I, may I add something into that? Um, yeah. I've recently been. Um, contacted by a, a hybrid uh, being, though he's not a hybrid child, he's, from what I gather, he's a hybrid twin of myself. Ah, yes, that's a positive. Um, it was quite a strange experience to find out that there's a being that's the same as me, but on a different planet, and about the same age as me in Earth years. Hey. Um, does Max. anyone else have any experiences in that kind of area? Yes, Max has someone of the same caliber, but is on Earth. Uh, you, have, you have a twin that's on Earth. Uh, um, what's, what Jim said, first it is secret, the second it is incorrect. So uh, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll ditch that. But, <laughs> but uh, I thought you had a twin, or is it a reincarnation? First it is a secret, and second it is inco uh, incorrect. Okay. So I don't even want to discuss it. It's okay. not it's not appropriate to discuss this part. But okay, but there is a part which is public, and it was synchronicity that you spoke spoke about your twin when I wanted to speak about my other incarnation. So Bashar is our example. Bashar is a fifth dimensional, four point nine dimensional density alien who has incarnation as their uncle. And they are very close to each other, and you know, Bashar goes down in dimension, and Daryl Anka goes up in dimension, meet together, and uh, transform the Earth. Uh, so, so they are very close, and they communicate all the time. And there are other channelers who channel their alien counterpart, the same incarnation, same person, basically. And it's much closer connection than channeling anybody else because it's the same. Spirit, same higher self. Uh, so yes, uh, I invite my uh, my other self, my alien other self. The name? Oh, she will introduce herself. Uh, my alien other self to come through Jim, and eventually I hope to for her to come through me. And uh, and that's what I guess I guess what you got, Travis. That uh, twin maybe is uh, your other incarnation, and they. Essentially, I believe they have very similar features, personality, voice, and many other things. Okay. But I, I didn't meet them yet. But I think that inviting, asking about, do I have other incarnations, and who do they want to speak to me, I think that that is a great question for private sessions. Okay, Raul, was there anything else you wanted to add to that? 
I had a feeling you weren't quite finished, Sophie. Um, it was more of a uh, kind of. I I kind of understand the the idea of it now, and it was quite interesting. Um, Max saying about um, Daryl and Bashar because I hadn't actually looked at it that way before. Um, and that, that, that's given me quite an interesting point that I can ponder over. So I thank, thank you for bringing that up. You're welcome. Um, I'd also like to give a big up to all the YouTube viewers as well, because there was quite a few watching. Yes, hello yes. YouTubers. Yeah, much love to everyone. Hello YouTubers. Um, are there quite a few watching? Number two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And hello, that's a portion later. <laughs> yeah, we get increase of views now. We have like like two days ago published video was watched about three hundred times, which is a great hit uh, number. We want three three million, but you know three hundred is already a great number. <laughs> three hundred in a day? Wow. Only about three days. Wow, that's good. Right? Three hundred real people as well. They're not fake figures. Oh, that's wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, I never look at that. I actually very rarely get a chance to go and watch videos again, but I have to go watch some of them because I don't remember them. So um, I have to go see the one from last night for sure. So I'll play that while I'm fixing lunch or something. Uh -huh. I think the word reptilians brings more viewers. Somehow people, I don't know, somehow people are interested. I don't know why, but uh, people are interested. So, so I, I, whenever reptilians come through, I would put the word reptilians right in the title, and it will be more view. Because <laughs> of the fear. The fear attract, attracts people. Well, that's, yeah. that's why I came here, is by reptilians, so... Really? Um, well, and they seem to be more blunt. Um, they're oh, yeah. very blunt, and very... They do not mince words at all, they're not diplomatic or anything like that. So, And I think some people find that refreshing because that's the world in which we live in in some cases. So um, they find the bluntness very refreshing. I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 do you want to say something, Sarah? No, I was just no, agreeing with that. Yeah, it was to me that. I, I just wanted to say, um, Max, yeah, go ahead. Can you can you put a medical disclaimer there, please? Medical disclaimer. Uh, where? Um, for for the statements before um, I the one is getting in trouble. Or Jim. About the use of herbs and um, and other ways that the the ETs and humans can use. Um, it, cause, uh, right. it kind of sounded like you were you were plugging them a little bit. I understand. Um, how do we organize this? Um, can anyone volunteer to do that? I, I it's so important to me. I I just I feel that placing this disclaimer makes it even worse. But if you feel like doing that, go ahead. Okay. I. I I just want to know. I, I just, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand. All right, how about we do it now? We are dealing with extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials give us wonderful herbal and other medical advice. And if you have problem with it, try to sue them. We have, no, we don't take any responsibility. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, we are not responsible. <laughs> Yes, I'm not practicing medicine. He's right. not practicing medicine. Do not stop. You go see your doctor. Okay. Don't stop taking your medicines. Oh, exactly. Please, do not stop taking your medicine or stop going to your doctor. No, never do that. I am not in control of what the aliens say, so I... I would never tell you to stop t going to your doctor and stop taking medicine. Never. I would never tell you that. Never. <laughs> All right. I, 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 that's okay. Um, we are healers. We are healers. And, mm. and uh, we give medical advice. At least I give medical advice once in a while. I find that sometimes you give people great advice, medical or otherwise, and they go screw themselves. And... Um, <laughs> I, I don't take uh, responsibility for that. 
I mean, uh, yeah, I give you advice and you do what you do. It's like sharing. Uh, I don't. I have a PhD, but I don't have medical degree. So, right. so I give a PhD scientific opinion, basically. Not that we're I, saying go through yourself. That's our word. <laughs> Not because you were actually getting started coming through. Oh, wait, can you translate? What is through yourself? What does it mean? Um, <laughs> this is um, I think I think I understood what was going on. There. <laughs> they screw themselves in wider sense of the of the meaning of it. Yeah, that's what you meant. But it, it was funny. <laughs> it was very funny the way you said it. No, no, we, I've never heard you say that before. Oh, really? <laughs> they screwed themselves. So. I, I just translated the Russian. I'm sorry. I'm at, <laughs> that was yeah, that was the the bluntness coming through. That was the. <laughs> but no, no, we are doing. Other <laughs> hidden, hidden, hidden uh, things, and it's sort of Reiki, it's sort of ma magic, and you know it cannot uh, legally sue for, for magic. And you know we are beyond, beyond the legalities. We are underground free thinkers, and we are new world. And you know legal things are not about us, not about us. Right. But you know we we, talk, we discuss a lot of healing and diet, and it is alternative medicine. It's a free world. Of, Trying to help, but you know everybody takes responsibility. And you know I preach: be healthy, be successful, redefine success, but connect to others and be example to others. Uh, watch your money, find your job, or do your own business. Be successful. Don't preach anything negative. In that respect. But we we try to help others and help with health advice as well. But not as medical, but as alternative uh, healers using all sorts of high, high dimensional magic, extraterrestrial and angelic advice. And check your resonations for highness all the time. Because if you're not resonating real well all the time, then you need to pick yourself up, you know? Or find somebody that will help you pick up. Because we're in that state here now that it's getting important that we group together because there's safety in numbers, and we need the world to start seeing that we need to start uh, becoming a community. And the more of us there are, the bigger the base, the less afraid they'll be to come. Wonderful. I, I just wanted to finish the thought that, again, in, in personal sessions, I invited Jesus very frequently, John Lennon very frequently. Yeah. Not that they came very frequently, but I invited them. I invited archangels, angels, and... I have an angel friend, and uh, I'm very proud to have one. It's amazing what you can do in private sessions. Sometimes they wouldn't come in a public session, but they, if they feel enough reason, they would come in a personal session. Inviting L is a good idea when you're confident it is appropriate to do that. If you have a proper reason to do that, or other higher beings, you have to really have inner confidence that what you do is right, and it's not selfish what you do. But, you know, I did that, and... I think it was it was justified and appropriate and you know speaking to higher spirits is is amazing and El is you know was revered as God in the past so for me it was also very very important to speak to them. Good, I believe that. I I don't have anything more to say except that I love you all. I mean you you guys. Whenever I think of you guys, I get inspired. So you're a very inspiring group of people. And um, you, you keep me moving forward, and you keep me balanced and grounded. So I love you very much. Thank you, Jim. Uh, You're welcome. We love, we love you back, and we love each other. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank we love you, you all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, uh, yes, uh, yeah. Mr. Kerr said, uh, uh, I send you love, and I send love between, between you. Me. Between you, yeah. I, yes. Something like that. How do you say that in English? I... Foster love between you, right? Foster, foster the connection between you. Yes. Uh, hold your hands out there in the world. Hold your hands. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we did yesterday. We held hands in the end. Yes. So I um, feel bind together, love together, becomes become friends. Call each other on the phone and ask how do you feel. Ask. Say good morning, good evening, call each other on Skype, phone, send messages. 
you already do that, but uh, just do it more. Do it more. August is a wonderful, very strange month. It's not my month. My month is February, but August is just the opposite of February. February is dark, and it is just a birth of something. August is bold. It's it's bold. It is royal. Bold energies, bold mistakes. You say one thing, and the person hears all the opposite, and it's funny, actually. It is funny. <laughs> funny, right? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Don't take yourself too seriously. Is that going for people who are born in August? Should I change my birth date? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mother and sister were born in August. I love them both. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I mean, these people, I, I, I surprised how they did, but, but it's just the opposite of me, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's just the opposite, and it's most surprising. The, 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 the Leos are most surprising to me. They, you know, one thing I assured them, they're very loving vodka and all other pleasures of sight. Here, psychoactive substances, but they're kind of prone to damage from those. I'm not saying that you go and do more of that, but but you know that was one of the. And they, in some way, they are sadistic. In another way, they are very royal and loving. And <laughs> it is a blend of everything. That. It's like very bold and not very serious. Don't don't be serious about this. Mm -mm. And uh, <laughs> I send you. My friendship, and I give the microphone to Jim for final blessing. Final Thank blessing. Thank you, Max. Do you no. like me? Can I do it, Jim? Yes, yes you may. Yes, 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 Sabrina, you may. I, my blessings to you, and go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Taki sukuru kumu makwata la katana na kasakata. Hashi Aturia Tananari Tariya Kasakatara Tony Siriya Urukutu Turuani Akarakiatu Sariannaka Suku Hapasa Turiana Naka Tani Kitikiri Surikitu Kutunoku Rikitiyamiki Sarikitu Sarananaka Haniyatsuko Toro Osutu no 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 fasi Tariyamiki Suwa Tarikiti ni atu sikiti atu ko uwa Ola nana atu wa taku wa tana niki atu ko uwa Osi wa nakataka Alaka tua has tu haniaka tu si tu ku a tu ku ata un kakati ali ikimutu so ku tu a tan tu ku allo tu tu no akiatu suliamiaka a tu si atakata. So much blending of light and love and friendship. We watch the galaxies stir the stars as they spin around the center. We know that the light will come and burst forth always. Because love is eternal. Love is always giving. Love is always bursting and turning like the stars, like the galaxies, and like the universe surrounding us. We are all in love with the love of everything. We become a part of it all just by accepting it. And when we accept it, it loves us back in a way that we may not find tangible, but in a way that is full of energy and full of light. So therefore, you must burst forth like the stars. Take your colors and let them be shown. Take your galaxy within yourself and let it spin around and fold out into the skies, into the spaces. 
and let others feel that energy that moves them internally into the sky, into the space, into the universe. We rush forth with our energy to hold on to that which we love most. And we give what we love most so that we receive it. Nice, Jim. Wow. Nice. We need to do more of those. Wow. We need to do more of those. That's wonderful. And please transcribe this. This needs to be transcribed and placed properly. Those Arcturians know how to give a blessing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Cheers, <laughs> Lechayim. They really do. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was quite slow compared to the other night. Huh? That was quite slow compared to the other night. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.